Hi everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. Once again, this is Jaya. And for today's vlog, I'm gonna take you with me as I get ready for an event. Yes, Mr. and Miss Squaa's preliminary Q&A. So it will be held at Cafe Romara and they invited me to be one of the judges. It's both an honor and responsibility. Charot. So today is November 25, 2022. I'm still here downstairs. I'm just gonna drink water. So I'm gonna do my makeup upstairs in my room. Let's go. Brown out na po as usual. This is natural lighting, guys. Look at that. Hi, so this is my final look. This is my dress from Love Leia collection. So nice. And this is the shoes that I'm going to wear. Bragais. So a little update. We just got here at Cafe Romara. I'm with my cousin Diane. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. She's gonna take the video for the whole duration of this event. So thank you so much in advance. Let's go inside.
welcome to my I welcome to her vlog. <laughs> vlog a dog. <laughs> Flexing my videographer for tonight. We're already at Romara. Cafe Romara. Waiting for the candidates to arrive. Thank you. Very cheesecake and tonic. Caramel, non coffee. Caramel froth, non coffee. For dining. <laughs> Go taste it. Good. <laughs> Hello! Hello to Shia's vlog! Welcome to the Fire Mara! <laughs> Please welcome our candidates for the Mr. and Miss State Colleges and Universities Athletics Association 2022. Opportunity to learn more about the candidates. It would help the judges assess the candidates' ability to express themselves and defend their beliefs. But before that, we'd like to acknowledge our key officials, starting off with, and of course, last but definitely not the least, the University President of Southern Leyte State U, the host university of this year's Kwame 2022, Dr. Rose IV. EFS. And of course, to all the coaches, to all the handlers, 
our judges, our candidates, once again, good evening. Maajong gabi na tanan. Knowledge and understanding of the question, that's 10 points. This measures the candidate's interpretation and perception of the questions based on how they answer the question. Number two is personality, that's five points. The first judge is a former beauty queen and the proprietor of Pizza With You. Baked with love, better with chef. Please welcome judge number one, Ms. Jaya Claire Ampo. Of course, our candidates had a taste of the Pizza With You pizzas. Uh, when was that? Yesterday. So how was it? Of course. Of course. That's highly recommended. I'm Adriel Bryce Benitez, 90, representing Valeta Normal University. Good evening, everyone. My name is Charles L. Bovita, 20 years old, representing the host institution, Southern Leyte State University. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rika May Patuo, 21 years old, proud to represent Southern Leyte State University. And of course, our candidate from the University of Eastern Philippines. Greetings of a pleasant evening to each and every one of us. My name is Marian Giselle Valiadores, 20, from the University of Eastern Philippines. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Here's your question. If you were to start your own business right here and now, what kind of business would it be and why? Again, if you were to start your own business right here and now, what kind of business would it be and why? If I were to start my business right now, it would be a cafeteria. A cafeteria and at the same time, a fundraiser to the charity. Nowadays, especially in our place, Club and City, cafeteria businesses are thriving, and I believe that if I were to start a business, which is the cafeteria, it would raise funds and income. It would generate income, basically, and I would use part of these, uh, part of these income to raise funds for everyone. Thank you. Very generous. That was Mr. Adriel Bryce Benitez from Lady Normal. Yes, you're ready for your question. Maxal, you have one minute to answer the question coming from Miss Jaya Claire Ampo. Hi. Good evening. Here's your question. How has the pandemic challenged you as a student? Once again, how has the pandemic challenged you as a student? Thank you for the question, man. The pandemic offered many challenges for me, but specifically, at least during schooling in America, because I'm originally from the United States, for uh, my schooling, we also stayed online. Uh, usually, uh, our classes are face-to-face, -face, even during the pandemic. But I found that the lack of a face-to-face -face teacher class where we had interactions with other students was the greatest downfall for me. It is very important for me to have interactions with my teacher directly because I believe communication is the most important part of the educational aspect. So if I were to point out one specific thing within the communication aspect is being able to discuss the very important parts about the lesson that we're supposed to be learning because Modules, no, no matter how elaborate they are, it is not as authentic as a teacher personally talking with you and explaining the lesson along with your classmates. So that is what I would expound as the greatest challenge, that being a lag of face to face. That was Mr. Maxwell, yeah. thanks so much for all of the Thanks, Donald. And now we are down to our last and final contestant from 
the University of Eastern Philippines, Ms. Marian Josel Valiadore. Hello, Marian. Are you ready? Yes. Ready or not, here we go. Mrs. Aura Aurelio Aguilar, you have one minute to answer her question. Hello, Marianne. My question is, um, what is your opinion in the recent developments about the SOGI bill uh, in the Philippines? Again, what is your opinion about the recent developments of the SOGI bill? Thank you, ma'am, for that wonderful question. As an advocate for LGBT equality rights, and as a Polsai student myself, I believe that we should always aspire for a society where everyone is inclusive and welcoming to all the members of the society. It means regardless of age, gender, social status, educational attainment, and political colors, we are all entitled to equal access to health and civil rights. And that will be all, thank you. Can we all give our candidates a big warm round of applause? That was a very intense round. <laughs> I guess our caliber uh, judges had the toughest time tonight. The scores or the scores of our judges will be sealed and will be uh, tabulated on the day of the, of the pageant. And now this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank our uh, Board of Judges by giving them uh, certificates of appreciation. I would like to call in, uh, we'd like to request the presence of Dr. Prost IVG EFS. Uh, the certificate of appreciation is presented to Ms. Jaya Claire Ampong, in sincere gratitude. Let's call in our board of judges to join our candidates for the photo hall.
Hi everyone, the show is finally done and we'll be coming home now. We're leaving now. It was an intense night. It was a tough competition. All the candidates are very brilliant. They were able to answer the questions and I know their feeling because I've been there and I'm glad that this was a successful event and I'm glad for all of the um, candidates also because they were able to deliver themselves um, gracefully hi so we're finally home it's already late but I'm just gonna share something for today I'm so happy, my heart is so happy um, because I'm just so proud of uh, Pizza With You, of how far it has come. You know, we've been through a lot and, you know, seeing the logo, hearing our business name, um, being involved to this um, prestigious event is really um, an honor and a proud moment, not just for me, but for our family because I'm not the only one who worked hard for this but all of us are working hard for the success of this business and I believe I would not be able to do this without um, my family's support. This is a very big event and we're part of it and I believe it will be part of the history as well. So. I am just so proud of Pizza with you. It's it's a it has been a great journey for us and to more success and more sales. <laughs> yes, but yeah, I'm just so happy. I'm ending this vlog with inspirational, you know, thought. Um, me personally, this is far from what I have uh, dreamed of. I never dreamed to become a business owner or a businesswoman or running a business. I, that's far from what I have dreamed of. But you know, this is God's redirection and I believe that this is my purpose and that's why he put me in this situation because he knows that I can do it. and. I hope that this will serve as an inspiration to all of you. Don't stop uh, chasing your dreams. If you have a failure, consider it 
as God's redirection. Maybe it's not meant for you. Maybe something um, greater is destined for you. So don't lose hope and never forget to pray. So I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for um, watching this vlog. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till my next vlog. Bye!